the lady of rage, right? She was on Doggy Style. And actually, she was the first person on Doggy Style, right? She was the first person to rap on that album. But I always wanted to know, man. I never understood that, man. She was the That's first right. person to rap on Doggy Style, right? So you would think she was the next one up after Snoop, right? But she never came out, man. It's like you had Dre with um The Chronic. You had Snoop with Doggy Style. Then um you had you and Dash. Y'all had um Dog Food. Then, you know, Tupac, he came out of nowhere, and he came out with All Eyes on Me. And it's like, man, you know, the Lady of Rage, she never came out, man. So, I mean, if you don't mind, man, because I always wanted to get somebody point of view from, you know, you all side, you, Snoop, or Daz, or whatever. What happened with that, yo? Why the Lady of Rage never came out? I think I think the, the program was Snoop's going to drop after the Chronic 94. Next was Rage. She had... Uh, it wasn't even just the fact of her rapping on Doggy Style. Remember, she had the number one single from Above the Rim. She had Afro Puffs. Boom. So when Afro Puffs dropped, that was right before Dog Food. Because these particular projects all dropped in the same, around the same time. Doggy Style, uh, Murder Was the Case, and then Above the Rim. So it was Rage's turn. Um, but Rage, you know, she likes to concentrate on her. Shit. So as she was concentrating, time was going by and time was going by while me and Daz was in the studio just dropping them one, two, three, four, five, six. And then Daz just stopped and said, we're going to go talk to Shug because we're ready now. And Rage, we need to work more with, on Rage's thing, but we ready now. I said, well, let's go. So we went there. He said, play me a hit if y'all ready. And believe it or not, the record that he liked that we played was Bomb Ass Pussy. And he was like, damn, y'all are ready. He said, let's give Rage a little bit more time, excuse me, while I put y'all in the studio to work on your dog food. If Rage gets done before y'all, we drop in Rage. If y'all get done before Rage, then we'll drop y'all out. So we was done in three weeks. Boom. Maybe a month. Gone. And uh, Suge went to Dr. Dre and Snoop and was like, dog pound ready right now. You know, and they was like, no, nah, it's Rage turn. And Suge said, okay. And he came to us and said, you know what? I'm going to put my own money up. Interscope, we're not going through Interscope or Warner Brothers, Warner Chapel, because that's what was distributing. The cron they, they, they said all they wanted was Dr. Dre and Snoop. So they didn't want the dog pound. So he went to Priority and got them to distribute it. And when Dr. Dre... And Snoopy heard it, that's when they was like, oh, yeah, okay, well, let's go. Dr. Dre said, I'm going to mix it. And Snoop said, come on, let's drop a couple more records first. And that's when we did New York, New York and Smooth with uh, DJ Pooh. And because um, originally, for all my and my this was from dog food. But Dog heard it. He loved it so much. He said, this is for my album. And it went on Doggy Style. And uh, that's, why you, that's why you don't hear Snoop with a verse on it, because it was already done. So Dog just came at the end and added his thing to it and said, this is for my album, because, you know, our death row secret was when it's whoever's turn it is, everybody has to participate. And... Your biggest record that you made by yourself, you got to give it to the game. You know what I'm saying? It's just like with Tupac, with uh, All Eyes on Me. And we had Got Your Mind Made Up. That was for dog food with Method Man and Red. You know what I'm saying? And Inspector Deck. But it was Tupac's turn. You know what I'm saying? It didn't make dog food because Daz couldn't find it. But then Daz found it and was like, we're giving this to Pac. So, you know, that's that was our secret right there. Because when we worked on a project, everybody participated. Producers, whatever you made, like Daz made for all my n and my b 
dog picked it, it goes to Snoop. That that was just it. And that that was the key to Death Row success. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't just a record that Snoop made that was for Snoop. It was the best from Dog Food. It was the best from this one. It was the best from that one. All mixed all up like gumba. And, uh, you know, it worked. So it was Rage's turn. And basically, you know, me and Daz was done in a certain amount of time. You know what I'm saying? And then we dropped Dog Food. And then Tupac came home. And that really slowed it down for my sister Rage because it was over right there. Once Tupac came home, they even stopped the dog pounds out. Suge said, Tupac's home. We all working on Tupac's album. So that's why New York, New York was the last single. We were supposed to come with another single right after that, which probably would have been reality uh, or something along that lines because reality was on slap at the time. But, you know, it got shut down because we only did two singles, uh, Let's Play House and New York, New York. So we was finna drop the third single and Pac came home. They had to stop and we had to put everything towards Pac Project. So, you know, and then that really uh, put a halt on what Rage was trying to accomplish. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> so... You know, it, that's the way Death Row operated, you know. And it's like Dog said, you know, if it's when it's your time, it's your time. You know what I'm saying? Because it was Rage's time, but things was moving so fast. And Rage don't move fast. Rage concentrates because she wants her rhymes perfect. She wants the music perfect to fit her rhymes. She has so many ideas so, you know, that's really what the thing was when it came to Rage, yep. Otherwise, she would have shut the game down after Afro Puffs on oh, my mama. And then, to tell you the truth, after Rage was supposed to be RBX, I think, because that's who Dr. Dre picked. Out of all of us, RBX and Rage was his, RBX, Rage, and Snoop. Those was his favorite ones. You know what I'm saying? Snoopy, Rage, and RBX. Yep. Yeah.